Guys, check that out. It's a Van Dyke salamander. Oh my goodness. This is the first one I've ever found. Let's see if I can get closer to it. It just actually just fell down this hill into the stream. Seemed to do all right getting out. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Never found one of these guys before. Really, really wanted to. He's pretty darn big. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness. Check that out. Holy smokes. I want to get a better look at it. Uh, shoot, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find him again. He might, he might be gone for good. Oh, oh, I see him, I see him, I see him. Let's try to grab him, let's try to grab him. Shoot. Come on. Got him. Holy smokes. A Van Dyke salamander. Puffadon Van Dyke. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. Probably a good four and a half inches long. Wow. First time I've ever found one of these guys. Oh my goodness. That is just something else. Holy smokes. Wow. I would just let this guy go. He was just, I was walking along that hill trying to navigate my way down. And uh, he actually just fell right down it. And kept going, fell right in this pool below me. And started climbing his way back up. Wow. He's not, he doesn't show up as bright on this camera as he actually is. He's actually a very bright orange. Orange is brown. That is awesome. Oh, well, I'm crawling my hand and then, uh, oh, nope, doesn't want to. I'll see if he'll climb off. That is awesome. Guys, this is this is uh, herping in the will of the hills for you. Oh my goodness, that is just epic. Oh, oh man, there he goes. See, so, yeah, he actually fell into this pool right here that was a pool until I stepped down here and then it drained out um, must have shifted some rocks or something and then he started climbing back up but he was all the way up there and fell all the way to like right there and then fell all the way down he was running away from me but oh my goodness that is awesome <laughs> That is really, really cool. Um, hopefully we find some more of those. Because those, are, I mean, he's so orange. Like, it's, um, what it what it reminded me of when I first saw him was like, like a poisonous mushroom. Like that kind of a, a glossy orange, sort of. Um, man, that is just so cool. But I was, when he fell down into the water, I wasn't sure if he was going to be able to get, get out. Uh, because uh, they're lungless salamanders. Um, I mean, I was sure he's going to be able to get out, but I wasn't sure how he, how he would react to it because they don't really venture into the water at all. They, they're fully terrestrial. Um, but he handled it just fine. Um, my guess is they, they probably occasionally do fall in the water uh, just naturally um, like that. <laughs> so they're, they're probably 
probably uh, used to climb out like that sometimes, but that is awesome. Hopefully you find some more of those guys. Um, also would really like to, this stream is just gnarly. Getting through there is going to be just tough, but um, I haven't seen any, I've seen lots of uh, Columbia Torrent Salamanders, um, but I haven't seen any Pacific Giant Salamanders so far, unfortunately. Uh, so we'll keep going. Hopefully we'll find some more Van Dyke Salamanders like that one. <clears throat> and uh, I'd really like to find some more Copes Giant Salamanders and Pacific Giant Salamanders. Um, and I'd like to find a Dun Salamander. I haven't found one of these down here yet either, Dun Salamander. They don't live up where I'm at, so, uh, where I live, so. Anyway, I will be back in a little bit, hopefully, with some other awesome find. <laughs>